Now, Somalia is investigating reports that the Somali army is recruiting children to fight Islamist insurgents. The New York Times reports children make up 20% of government troops and about 80% of the rebel forces. Last week, the United Nations Security Council condemned all crimes against children, including sexual violence and torture. UN Special Representative Radhika Kumaraswai calls on the Security Council to take a stand against those who commit atrocities against minors. The collective voice of the Council, guided by the common moral compunction of humanity to protect its children, must be used to make outcasts of those who commit unspeakable acts against children in war. Well, joining us from the United Nations to discuss crimes against children is UN Special Representative for Children and Armed Conflict, Radhika Kumaraswamy. Welcome to the studio, Ms. Kumaraswamy. Thank you. Now, you told the Security Council to take a stand against those who use children in conflict. Now, what do you mean by this? Take a stand. Well, you know, the Security Council has really come a long way on this issue. Um, it had, um, over the years, decided to make children in armed conflict an important part of its work and has set up a working group uh, precisely on this issue. And we also produce a list before the Council where we name and shame parties that recruit and use children. So what we were hoping is that the Council will move in the direction of targeted measures or sanctions against those who recruit and use children as, as soldiers. Now, so we have... Uh, the, the, this is uh, very uh, oftentimes ha very common to hear the UN uh, threatening, issuing very strong condemnation and uh, having all these resolutions. What are some of the targeted measures that can be taken against those who commit those crimes? Well, let me first say that the threat of these targeted measures has already borne fruit. In many cases, we have been able to show parties that they're on the Sec Security Council list and that if they uh, cooperate, they will be taken off the list. So we have had situations where because of the threat of these measures, parties have entered into agreements with the United Nations to release children. Now, the measures that are contemplated in the Security Council resolution are freeze of assets, arms embargoes, and travel restrictions. Some of those groups you're dealing with are really, um, you know, not as well structured. Probably even in the interaction with the international community, uh, nobody knows how they, they, they operate. Uh, how can some of these measures really deter them from using children in wars? Well, there are some groups that will not respond at all, uh, which who have contempt for the international community and the Security Council. Uh, I think those groups, uh, perhaps this will not have an effect. But there are many groups, especially in Africa, who see themselves as future leaders of their country and who therefore are more responsive to the actions of the Security Council. And it is particularly that group that we hope to uh, reach out to with these measures. Some uh, feel like uh, the Security Council sometimes is, uh, is kind of limited, is weak in, in as much as you aspire to achieve these objectives. What really limits the UN from taking action against most of these groups? Well, different uh, uh, member states have different uh, beliefs on how effective sanctions can be. Uh, and so we have to take everybody along. And we have managed now, uh, in the last round uh, of the presidential statement of the Council, that where sanctions committees exist on particular countries, we can move forward with regard to imposing sanctions with regard to those who recruit and use children. So that's a big step that uh, the, uh, the Council is ready to see um, uh, the moving forward of this agenda so that those who are uh, recruiting and using children in countries where there are sanctions committees will be identified and will have these measures uh, used against them. Very briefly, Ms. Kumaraswamy, how do you personally feel uh, the progression of, of some of this action? Uh, are you happy? Are you angry? Are you frustrated? Well, I think, of course, one is always frustrated when one is for a cause because you always want it to go much faster uh, and, uh, than it is. But you must remember that there are 15 members of the Security Council, that uh, they come from different backgrounds, different political beliefs. And the fact that they have united on this issue uh, and are moving forward from the very beginning on this issue 
means that in the United Nations, at least when it comes to children, there is a measure of political will. Thank you. And we must uh, try to use that will. Thank you very much. Radhika Kumaraswamy, who is the UN representative for children and armed conflict, joining us from the UN in New York. Thank you.